But if you're putting anything on your face that's like pore clogging, like shea butter, coconut oil, never, ever, ever use coconut oil on your face. What? Yes. TikTok says to do that all the time. It's a scam. There's like wrinkles on the lips too though. Like which I, I don't even know. Who like, get wrinkles on your lips? We might get a lot of hate for this one. Oh no. I will never <laughs> see even bring it up. All right, Drunk Elephant. Uh, all the products for Drunk Elephant. Okay, next. No. A reusable towel to wipe your face off. So much bacteria. Like even clean towels. Really? That's why I'm scared. Yes. All right, just threw that on you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, welcome to Kennedy K. Today, guys, I am with my good friend Amanda. Hi. And Amanda is a skin professional, and we are going to go through all of my skin products, and she's going to tell me if it or if it's and it's. We're gonna, we're gonna find out. And she's gonna give us like products if we need them. If we have products that are bad, she's gonna give us products that are recommendations like that are good. Yes. yes, exactly. Hopefully. Yes. And That's also, a lot of these products that I am going to have her rate are very popular on TikTok. So I'm excited to see what, if TikTok is actually giving us good information or not. Me too. <laughs> so <laughs> this is gonna fun. be super fun. Amanda, why don't you really quick though, just kind of share a little bit of your background okay. and yeah. Okay, perfect. So I'm a master esthetician, which means that I went to nine months full time um, just learning about lots of different skin treatments, um, different skin types and products, and all that good stuff. Um, so I'm super excited to talk about all of that fun stuff. I've done a lot of my own research too about what products are good and the formulation of different types of products and why that's important. I also have a little skincare salon that Kennedy's been to. Yes, I um, love it. It's super fun and I've been doing that for almost a year now. So that's kind of where we're at. We're just gonna so good. have fun writing some products. Yes. Today. <laughs> She's done like facials on me. I'll show you guys a little snippet of our little TikTok. Oh, the jelly jelly mask. Mask. Yes. We get some jelly masks. She can do like spray tan. She always laminates your brow. There's lots of things she does. Oh yeah. Kennedy gave me a spray tan too. <laughs> we have a funny story with that, but we don't want to talk about that one. <laughs> All right. So, you actually did good though. I, I gave Not her a spray lying. tan and that was my first time and it was scary and I messed up on her hands. But other than that, it no, was pretty good. my hands get bad anyways. So. Yeah, it was, they were tricky. <laughs> hands are tricky, I'll tell you that. All right, let's get going on some of our products. Okay. First one that I feel like is very, very popular is da -da -da -da. Classic. Classic, CeraVe. CeraVe. The CeraVe face wash, lotion. Tell me, what okay. are your opinions about CeraVe? Okay, so CeraVe, honestly, like, there are worse products out there. I honestly don't hate CeraVe. Okay. It is the dermatologist's number one recommended brand. And so I think that they don't have like fragrances and stuff, which is really good. But also, to be honest, this does not do a lot for your skin. Like, um, really? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like what, what do you mean? Like, I don't know. I think a lot of different products, like it has to do with the formulation and things like that. A bunch of the CeraVe products, I just, don't love because formulated in a way that like the products that are in there, like they'll say hyaluronic acid and things like that and three essential ceramides, they're formulated in a way that, you know, those don't really affect your skin that much. Oh. So, I mean, I'm guessing, I'm not a dermatologist, but I'm guessing that dermatologists recommend this so much because it kind of helps to maintain where your skin's at already. Oh. If that makes sense. So it's like gonna so keep your really skin yeah. in the same spot, not really progress? Yes, sort of. That's why I like medical grade skincare products because they also help to maintain your skin, but they're also doing more than that. They're like mm -hmm. helping your skin to progress and like prevent things. And so I don't love this. And I don't know what I- this is medical grade, right? This is not medical grade. So no. medical grade, can you buy it at like a, like a normal like Target or Walmart? No, or? you cannot. Oh, okay. Um, there are a lot of like expensive medical grade brands that are great. Okay. But also I found one and we can like introduce it later or whatever. Okay. I don't know. But also a good price. Like they don't have to be the most expensive products for you to like get the best results. Okay. Basically. That's so good. we like that. Yes. We don't want to break the bank. Yes. I mean that's not our goal <laughs> ever, right? <laughs> exactly. Very true. So basically the CeraVe is eh? probably. Eh. Eh. Yeah. I okay. like this rating. It's probably eh. All right. Okay, next. We might get a lot of hate for this one. Oh no. I'm all nervous <laughs> to even bring it up. Oh no. I 
<laughs> All right, Drunk Elephant. Uh, All the products for Drunk Elephant. What are your opinions kay. on these? Okay, so actually, I don't think these bronzed drops are the worst. Okay. I actually like. I think I it looks really good. I kind of like them. No, I like them too. But I don't want to get acne because of it. That's right. what I'm worried about. That's what I'm worried about too. Like, I'm not 100% sure if this is like acne safe. If okay. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I, I mean, I think if you're going to use it for like makeup and it's not like a serum or something. Uh -huh. Like, this is a serum. So, would you suggest? I would not suggest. There's that. better products. There's Way better products than that. What are like products that we should be looking for and products that we should be like, in, like that ingredients? are in? Yeah, ingredients that are in the serum. What are things that we should be looking for that are good? And what are ingredients that are like you don't want to use? Okay, this? so I'll start with ingredients that you don't mm -hmm. want to use. Okay, and that's like ingredients that are pore clogging. So we can start with like shea butter. That's actually in like a ton of yes. celebrity skincare. That's yes. Like the very top shea I butter. I see that all the so time in my like butter. face and around my body wash. <laughs> I know. Well, I think body wash might be okay, but if you're putting anything on your face that's like pore clogging, like shea butter, coconut oil, never, ever, ever use coconut oil on your face. What? <laughs> yes. TikTok says to do that all the time. Oh no. Okay, well that's, that's so good bad. to know. Um, essential oils. We don't want essential oils in our products. A lot of times, this is crazy. Like. In like Neutrogena and stuff, that's also a popular one. Yeah. They have like, I don't know if it's specifically them or who it is, but there will sometimes be like, this is a really hydrating product. Like it's a hydrating cream. Uh -huh. And the first ingredient is like alcohol. And I'm like, or like the second. Is alcohol very dry? Yes, very dry. That's Actually, why they, they want you to just keep using more of their product exactly. and buy their product. So it's drying it out more and you're like, I need to use more. <laughs> so it's a scam. It literally is. It's a scam. It Damn. Ingredients to avoid would be like sulfates, parabens, and it'll say if it has that on it or not. It should anyway. I'm looking. It should. If it doesn't, that's sketchy. Yes. Um, <laughs> fragrances. <laughs> don't use fragrances. That's even more sketchy. Like sometimes it'll be like. Yeah, it doesn't say what's on in here, right? I don't even know. Sorry, there's like makeup stuff on no, it. No, it's but good. Yeah, it doesn't really have a clear ingredient list on the bottle too, which I don't really like. Because then it's like, you don't know what you're using. But yeah. You're just gonna go for it. <laughs> no, no, I've never really, I've used this a lot, but good to know. So and then, stay away from those ingredients. Yeah. I guess ingredients you should look for are like, they need to target your skin concerns. So, like, so basically, we won't have like really any idea what we want. <laughs> sort of. I mean, that's true. But you would. I mean, so it'd be nice to have you to help us. True. I think it's always good to talk to a skincare specialist, especially if you're first starting out like mm. on a skincare routine, to just like see what products, what ingredients you should be getting. I don't know if something bad is happening. It's the skincare police. <laughs> oh, seriously. <laughs> they are coming for you who are using Neutrogena. Neutrogena. No, no Yes. Are, eh. Anyone Anyways. that's this area, no. All right, anyway. They're coming for you. Um, <laughs> there's a bunch of different good ingredients that can help you like salicylic acid is really popular for like acne and helping okay. to treat that. Also benzoyl peroxide, which is in the um, spot treatment that you have. This one? The tiny one, not that one. That ah, one. Okay, so let me show you guys. She's been giving me some little products and this is a good little one she's talking about that yes. helps with skin breakouts. And actually, I've been using this. Does it's amazing. Yes! Good. I was like surprised. I was like, oh, wait, it's what so the? Nice. It's like, so actually we helping. can replace this. Yes. Okay, so this, this is another one that we we see like a lot of like the Mario, and this mm -hmm. is like. Oh, yeah, we haven't introduced that. Yeah, I use this one all the time. But then she gave me a recommendation to use this one instead. Wow, I feel like such like a TikTok influencer. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. There you go. She told oh, me to no. use this one instead. And I've actually seen a big difference. Because this one, I felt like my skin was just like peeling off. This one is not like... Probably because it was. <laughs> it was so bad and I feel like I couldn't cover well, it up with makeup. Well, the first ingredient on this, we were looking at it. It's isopropyl... Am I saying that right? I have no idea. Alcohol. Like the rubbing alcohol that you literally use to clean like things around your house. That's the first ingredient. <laughs> And that is not good. <laughs> that actually scares me. Yeah, so we don't want that. We want this one. Yeah, this one has benzoyl peroxide, which is also really great for just like helping to decongest your pores. Honestly though, I've been using it and... Me too. I have trouble around my chin. I use that and it's just like... It actually helps so much. It's great. Stay away from alcohol. That's yes. another thing that I need to do. Okay. Like if you want to spray rubbing alcohol over your face, that's what you may as well do if you're going to use that product. 
What? <laughs> but your oh. guess if you're like, it's so crazy. I guess that people would think though that like that's cleaning. I you mean, know? yes. Because you use it for like but it is extremely dry. Yes. Yeah. And we like, and that's that. what happens usually when you have a dry face, like with acne okay. and stuff. You're yeah. Like, oh yeah. A lot of people like would assume, and I did too before I went to school, that like acne prone skin has to be oily skin. Mm -hmm. But actually, people with really dry skin can be really acne prone too. Sometimes more than like oily skin. And that's because your dry skin is trying to make up for how dry it is by like producing excess oil, like a ton more oil that you don't even need. And then oil mixed with, which is sebum, like in your skin, oil mixed with bacteria and dead skin, all just piling up and like forming acne on your face. And so, I know, me the <laughs> And so when you do have acne prone skin and you have dry skin, you need to be moisturizing like crazy. Which is kind of crazy because I feel like whenever I have like a pimple or something, I'm always kind of scared to put like lotion on it. Mm -hmm. And I don't, why is that, why do I you don't think know. that? I, I guess it's probably common to think that we just want to dry the heck out of that yeah. one spot, you know, or like mm -hmm. the whole face. But actually that's making it worse because your skin is literally dying and it's like, give me oil. And then it probably is like, me oil. <laughs> Like everything in the world. So. Oh my. Yeah, no, this is so good to know. Next, this is very popular on TikTok. And any really anything, sunscreen. So tell us about sunscreen. Hey, this sunscreen, sunscreen in particular or just um, this one in particular and sunscreen in general. Tell us okay. a little bit about that. Um, is this one a good one? I actually love this sunscreen. L time D all the way up. Yes. Okay, we good. Love L time D. What about the super goop one that's like oh. really popular on TikTok? I do not like that one. That one's middle to middle It's to, there? It's like they actually. <laughs> yeah. And that's because I watched this video of this esthetician that she's actually awesome. I follow her. And she, it's the Dallas esthetician. And she did a test between Supergoop and like a medical grade sunscreen. And Supergoop, like, she looked under the, I don't even know what kind of light it was, but it did not give you like any coverage, which is crazy. Like, but then the other so one, popular. it was literally like so much coverage and just really good. So super goop. Good to know. So it's, it doesn't give you as much coverage. It does not. This one is really good. I love L to MD. L to MD, double thumbs up. Double thumbs up. Double thumbs up. I love L to MD. It's really like good. That. Okay. At least their sunscreen. I'm not super familiar with like their other skin other products, but their sunscreen, double thumbs up. Oh, there's so. Kobe. What other Bye. what other sunscreens do you really like that you would recommend? Um, Image Skincare is a professional skincare brand. I like this one. This is also a tinted. It's kind of like a <gasps> yes, because this one's tinted too. Yes, That's why I love like, it. Like tinted sunscreen is the best. I love it because it kind of feels like you're getting a little more coverage. It does. Like it coverage really with does. the sun and coverage with oh breakouts. I, like that. I don't I know. Got double coverage. Double coverage. I, I also reapplying sunscreen. Unfortunately, your sunscreen's only good for two hours, which actually sucks. Does two hours? Suck? Yes, two hours. So, Can we, that's amazing because to... then you don't have to redo your makeup, right? Yes. What is that So exactly? this is a powder sunscreen from Color Science. I love this one. You want to make sure that like, you go like this like five times and then you take it off. No, there's no powder coming out. <laughs> you want to make sure powder's coming out before you apply it on your face. But then I love this one because it doesn't ruin your makeup. Yeah. It's just like, oh, like you can keep it in your backpack. And it's just a little extra coverage again. Every two hours or as often as you can, right? Because no one's perfect at real. True. Ugh. I'm not, but I try to be better. Nice. I like that. That is nice. Next. Let's do some Aquaphor. Ooh. I'm an okay. Aquaphor woman, so is that bad? I actually love Aquaphor. Oh, okay, like, good. For your lips. At okay, least. at least for your lips. Well, I don't know how I feel about it, like, for your skin. I don't really use it for much for my skin, but I know a lot of people slug with yes. it. Yes, slugging. Um, so is that not the best? I don't know, honestly. I think it also depends what you have on underneath your skin. Because mm. the point of slugging is to, like, at least I don't know what kind of slugging happens on, like, TikTok. Or yeah, or no, or but I think, like, it's to keep the moisture in. Is that okay. kind of what the same thing yeah. is? Yeah, so, like, just basically to, like, like, form a barrier almost for like the products that are already underneath your skin. So they're like okay. going deeper into the skin. Oh. That makes sense, which is cool. I would put things on my lips that I would never put on my face. Okay. And, like, the lips are still like skin, but they're not as like, I don't know. You don't ever break out on your lips. No, you don't. Oh, why? That's weird. I, I mean, didn't think about that. Apparently, just barely... there's like wrinkles on the lips too though. Like, which I don't, I don't even know. You like, get wrinkles on your lips? We are so scared of wrinkles. <laughs> yes, I'm really getting into wrinkle stuff and I'm scared yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah, me too, dude. Like my forehead is so wrinkly. When my husband's rich, we'll get Botox. Botox. 
<laughs> but it's nice to have products beforehand so right. that you don't have to spend all that money yes, on. Yes, it's all about like prevention. Prevention. Like, yes, we want to prevent as much as we can. There's just so much you can prevent. You could spend thousands of dollars when you're older, but why would you when you can just like maintain it overall? For like sure. when you're younger, right? So, I don't know. I, I do like aqua for That's pretty good. Okay, yeah. just maybe pay attention to what you're putting on when you're slugging it. Yeah, that's what I'd say. Like, in my opinion, is to like have something underneath that's a really good product to like penetrate deeper into the skin, so. What about okay. these little things that have like the, these little ends that have like the little circle? Yeah, like the are extractors. These, yes, there you go. That's what, I don't know what they're called. What about these? Are these bad? Um, I do not think so. I think it depends on how you use it. Okay. Like, I've seen TikTok videos where people literally just like hold it down and drag it across their skin. And I just like, die. And that's not good? Inside. That's terrible. Yes. Do not do that anymore. Okay, okay, okay. 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 <laughs> just because it's like, you're literally dragging metal across your face. And That's like, true. Like, I don't know, I just, I don't like it. I feel like when I do drag it, I do kind of feel like my skin is red for a really long time. Like I almost bruised like, my skin. Like the imprints of this are on yes! It, right? Yes! Yes. The, I, so, I get so frustrated, because I want to pop it. Don't drag this across your skin. Okay, good to know. The police will come after you. <laughs> They'll, like arm, they'll come they'll after you. Sound. Yes. Immediate jail. <laughs> <laughs> Unless there's like blackheads and you've loosened them up, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. like, like how do you loosen them up? Like showering? Yeah, like I'd say hot water. Okay. You could even get like a warm rag and like loosen them up. Or if you have Probably. like, um, I have a pre-extraction liquid thing that I put on oh. people in my salon before I like do extractions. So there are different ways that you can like loosen up the- Your blackheads. The blackheads. Any. So I would say like before and if like whiteheads and stuff or like zits at all, mm -hmm. like if there's not like a whitehead there, don't bother it. Really? Like, don't touch it? I would not touch it. I have it's touched so, it and I regret it. It's so hard. That's true. Every time I do, I feel like I make it bigger but or I make I it I feel like I have more scars red. on my chin now. Yes, and it's like, scar. Yes. And I feel like almost sometimes it goes like even deeper because it has to move somewhere and I feel like if it's not moving up, it's probably like, it's spreading. It's probably everywhere. spreading entire. Just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> ah! Okay, so you guys see now. Of course, the first thing you want to do is just pop it, right? This and is like, like that zit spot treatment yeah. we, we showed before. So you can ice it. So that product's good because that's really popular on TikTok. So is yes. that icing is good. Okay, good. We to like know. a double thumbs up. And then put on a spot treatment or like those mighty acne patches on Amazon. Those oh, are uh -huh. double thumbs up. I really? Like okay, I have those, but I didn't bring them out. But those are good. Okay, good. Do you know. feel like they like? I feel like if I ever do have like a white head, they pull like yeah, all of it perfect. out. Yeah, that's perfect. But I, and I don't really have to do anything, which is mm -hmm. nice. But even just that, like having something there, either the like little spot treatment lotion that you have or like acne patch, that's gonna help you not pick at it. I didn't think about that. Because picking scars. <sighs> we don't want scars. We don't so. want scars. We don't want scars or wrinkles. Gotta be patient. But we get them. <laughs> <laughs> so those are probably the best ways to, um, yeah. for breakouts. Mm -hmm. Okay, good I to know. Say. Good to know people. We're learning here because I'm learning. Okay, next. No. A reusable towel to wipe your face off. Everyone uses this. So. I know. Okay, so why is it so bad? Oh, because. <laughs> okay, let me just like paint a picture for you. Okay. Okay, so let's say you just, this is a clean towel. Uh -huh. Supposedly clean. Yeah, right? I, I washed scary. it. Um, you washed it, okay. And let's say that you just take off all the things that you had from the day with this. Yeah. And then you just leave it again and then use it like two more times. Uh -huh. You are putting on those germs, that bacteria, that dust, dirt, makeup, everything that you had from those two days all yeah. over your face again. Okay, but when it, like, what if I just do it once? Is that like, they just harbor so much bacteria. Like even clean towels. Really? That's why I'm scared, yes. Crap. Keeping clean towels, like, I also saw this video where, um, sorry, I just threw that on you. <laughs> um, sorry. These are clean skin club towels. These are what I like. Okay. Disposable towels. I'm actually gifting this to you because That's so we nice. don't want that anymore. Immediate jail, okay? Immediate jail! <laughs> oh, well, yay, okay. Okay, so, so let me tell you. They have back here. Not as makes you break out. Yes. So not these, these not those, life. not those, those are good. They did an experiment where they had like baking soda and like, I don't even remember what else, but they put two towels in a bucket and it was a clean towel. Uh huh. And then they had a dirty towel and then one of those. The clean towel had like so much like stuff 
in the water. Ew. After it sat there like all day. So you're rubbing that all over your face. And the dirty towel had like way more. But like the clean one too. Like we can't trust so them. So good to know. So I'm sad. We're using There's this hope. instead. So this There's is. There's hope. You can actually get these on Amazon. This is Clean Skin Club towels. Oh, okay. These are great. They're biodegradable, so I don't feel like as bad for that's using good. them. Like, that's good. That's that's probably the one thing. Oh yeah, one hundred percent biodegradable. I love that. So we like that. Now that we went through and did all of the stuff that were eh, 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 on TikTok, mm -hmm. kind of show us some of your favorite products that we could maybe be interested in. Okay. I think this is one of yours too. Yes. But this one. How do we like show? Nice. Is it like right there? There you go. Look okay. at that. There we go. Um, so CBD this is mist. The CBD mist. Also, I think I've been looking at that camera the whole time. It's fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> I probably like. No, I went you all the time. It's fine. Oops. I forgot about that. Okay. This is the CBD mist. This is so good. We'll just spray it on. Cool. Close your mouth. Okay. Mm, it smells good. It actually does. This mist is my life. And it smells literally good. everything. What is it for exactly? So this is, it says this powerful plant-based mist is fortified with pure CBD, which sounds like you're gonna like get high or something. Yeah, but like CBD is actually really good for the skin. Okay, good to know. It's not You're not like gonna the, get high. No. <laughs> no, not quite. And then vitamin B, and it says that delivers super strength wrinkle reduction. <gasps> Eliminates acne causing oil, strengthens skin barrier. Oh, it's so important to have a healthy skin barrier. Like, oh, good I didn't even good. know that was a thing, but yeah, it's, it's like the outer it. layer of your skin because it protects anything else. Like, it protects you, you know? Um, increases hydration and diminishes pigmentation. Isn't it like kind of like purple or like red? Like, it's like just from like scarring? Discoloration, or... basically. So it can be scarring or it can be like age spots, ah, which are like those brown. I have so many like deep under the skin. I've looked through like a light. And you I probably see. have them too. <gasps> yeah, I don't want to do that. I'm gonna be too it. scared. Yeah. Oh my god. So, anyways, I love this. It can go on the face or the body. It can actually work really well for ingrown hairs down there. Good to or, know. Which is good. We love that. Well, we don't love the ingrown hairs, but yeah, no, not ingrown hairs. But we like that it helps with them. We do like. Cool. That. Okay. Um, you use this after the gym if you like don't have time to wash your face, like. For a second, just spray this bad boy on. Go run your errands. <laughs> yeah. No, that's what I have. It's in my gym bag already. Good. Ready to go. Because I Good. love that. Basically, though, we just need this. Emergency this spray. This is essential. For literally everything. Like, we just need it everywhere. Yeah. Have Perfect. you seen my big pack green bunny? Uh-huh. I was like, oh, it's the Windex. Yes! It's the Windex. This is the Windex. Yes. That's so funny. So, this is the essential Windex. That's cute. Okay, then let's do like maybe two more favorite products. Okay, so this is my favorite cleanser Ooh. right now. Yeah, I feel like it changes. Like, mm. I really like that one that you have, the vitamin C one. I just got this one, guys. Yeah, that one's really good. And I literally smell the vitamin C, but it's not like a fragrance. It's like, it just like put like- It just like, smells like oranges. Yeah, I just like put oranges on your face. Like it smells so, Which that's I why love. I love it. it Can I smell so this one good. again? Yeah. I miss this one. It smells I used to have so it. good. Sorry. No, I love weird. it. I look forward to washing my face every day because it of it. It smells so good. It's so seriously. That's, that's the other thing, like get skincare that you actually look forward to. Using? Using. Yeah. Because I literally get excited every night to like, yeah. <laughs> to wash my face. But literally like, I just do. No, I agree. I also love this one, Cell Protection Balm. And this is kind of like an aquaphor vibe. Uh -huh. um, but is that better but I like base? it more. Yes. All purpose repair balm and skin shield that glides on and soothes the skin. So it's really good for dry skin, itchy skin, chapped lips. I put on my lips all the time, like aquaphor mm. kind of. Skin irritated by rashes, insect bites, scrapes, and burns. Literally everything. Everything. So this is like, Windex part two. That's cool. But I, was like, I like that. I love this one. You can put it on your hands. You can put it like on your scalp if it's like itchy and dry. I have on to a put, bug bite. I like to put sometimes, I get dandruff on my eyebrows. I could put that oh, on you there. Could. You could literally like. Oh, that's amazing. I actually use it for highlighter too. So you put it like a little bit on your nose, like in the places where you would like put blush and stuff. Uh huh. And look how shiny. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, I awesome? like this. And it feels good. And then, like the lips, and it smells good. Yeah, it so, does. So I think this is one of my favorite products too. Just like, Ooh. if my skin's feeling extra dry, I'll put on like my lotion. I might have to get this new product. It's really good. You <laughs> and it's not too expensive. I love it. That's amazing. So if you're interested in getting these amazing products, and all the good stuff that actually it has, they have to verify and prove that it actually does good stuff for your medical skin. Medical grade, you can, you can trust medical grade. Trust me. 
Trust her. Trust Amanda. Yeah. So check out if you guys are interested. You can. I'll leave her Instagram down below if you're wanting um, some more fun products that are actually Absolutely. good for your skin. Yep. Or you can DM me and I can give you guys her information as well. So sweet. Anyway, thanks for watching. Okay. Thank you, Amanda, for coming. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>